Hi folks, Sandy Hovetter here with Data Designs Publishing. I want to talk to you today about a, a feature in Acrobat Pro that allows you to add headers and footers to your PDF document. Let me start by explaining that there is a difference between Acrobat Reader, which you can download for free, and Acrobat Pro. Pro is a, one of Adobe's products that you can purchase and it allows you to do so many more things than the free reader. The free reader program is just that, a reader. You'll see today some of the things you can do with Acrobat Pro, but there are really so many more things. What I have up here is uh, the participants guide for the training course we did a couple of years ago. Let me go to uh, page one of the document. I want to show you how you can put headers and footers into an existing PDF. Over here on the right at the top you'll see uh, there are some options, tools, comments, and share. I, by the way, am using Acrobat Pro version 10. Version 11 is out. It's a little bit different, but the same functionality. In the tools palette, you can see that there are a number of, of different uh, submenus, if you will. This just gives you a taste of uh, what Acrobat Pro, the capabilities that Acrobat Pro has compared to Acrobat Reader. We want to go to the Pages palette because what we want to do is change the content of the pages. And we come down here to Edit Page Design and one of the options is Headers and Footers. And so to add header or footer and or footer to the document, it's as simple as clicking on that and clicking on Add Header and Footer. Now it brings up the first page of your document here in this, this window near the bottom of the the uh, dialog box. It's going to bring up the first page of your document and if that's a cover page like ours is, it, it, it's not a normal page. So I'm going to go to about page three. There you go. This is what my normal page looks like. It already has a header and a footer and so it's important that I align the, the new header and footer that I add to that. So I'm going to come back up here. You can see here at the top of the dialog box that you can change the font, uh, font type, font size, font characteristics, and color. I'm not going to mess with that. I am going to add uh, something to the right side of my headers. I'm going to say, let's say that I want every page to carry a copyright notation. So I did this back in, I created this document back in 2012. So there I've added a 2012 um, copyright notation. Now I don't like where that is aligning uh, in relationship to the header that is already on that page. The, the vertical spacing is good, but I want it closer to the edge of that header that's already there. So I can come up here to the margins box and I can adjust that. Let's make the right margin, oh, 0.5 is too much. How about 0.75? You know, I think I might like it a little bit, 0.8, there you go, I like it right there. Now let's look at the bottom. I've already got footer information here, but let's say that I wanted to add a uh, the date that the document was created. I believe that was August of 2012, and you can see that it has added the date here in the center uh, of the footer. Again, I don't like that alignment, I want to align it with the top of the the text that's there, so I will change the bottom margin. Let's try 0 0.6. That may be 0.65. No, nope, 0.6 is better. 0.61. There we go. And and I like that. That's good. Mm, maybe the left margin needs to be 0.8 so that it's centered a bit better. Okay. There we go. One thing that is interesting, let's say that I, uh, instead of saying August 2012, I just put insert date. Let me delete that August 2012. And it inserts the month and the day. If you want to make an interactive change, you just put a slash YY, and now you have month, day, and year. That's pretty intuitive, but I wanted to show you that you can change it. Or you can come over here, and there are page number uh, and, and date formats that you can play with. I'm going to take this back to August 2012. I'm going to say OK. And you can see now 
that my page has a header with the with the copyright date in it and in the footer we now have the date that the document was created. I'm going to go to the next page of the document by hitting page down just to show you that this is the next page and yes it has a header and or it has the copyright notation in the header and in the footer it shows the date the document was created. Now let's say I've done this and this is a 32 page document and I realize the document was not created in August, it was created in July. I can come back here to headers and footers and simply go update and change that August, oops, I moved it over there. Change that, it said August 2012, change it to July 2012, say OK. And you'll see that it has adjusted the date in my footer to be July 2012 and I can uh, flip through the pages and they, it has changed the footer on all the pages. If I decide that I don't like it at all, I can come over here to the headers and footer menu and just click remove. It'll ask me, are you sure you want to do that? Absolutely, I'm sure. So there you go, I've clicked that and you can now see at the top of the document I no longer have a copyright notation and at the bottom I no longer have a date. This can be really helpful if you've uh, created a PDF and it's come from someplace else perhaps and you need to add your company name or you need to add a date or you could use it to add a draft notation on a uh, draft that you're circulating. Adding headers and footers to existing documents can be a great help and a great time saver, especially with the feature to change it once you've done it or to remove it. That's all we're going to go over today. I wanted to show you that feature. I'm Sandy Hovatter from Data Designs Publishing. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. You can reach us at 419-660-0500, or you can send me a quick email, sandy at datadesignspublishing.com. Thanks so much for checking out our tutorial today. Have a great one.